You need to stop relying on Instagram in order to get in touch with your audience. Even if you have millions of followers, if you don't have their emails, your audience is rented. An email list, on the other hand, is completely yours. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Minichat to build your email list so you can own your audience outside of any of your social media platforms. Before you set up any automation, it's really important to have a strategy in place that will help you motivate people to share their email with you. We always recommend offering value first, such as, hey, here's this free guide that I created. Go ahead and give me your email and I'll send it over. Or you can offer a discount code to some of your products, or you can give them inside access to a community that you own or something like that. Any way where you can offer value is a great strategy in order to build your email list. Now, Minichat is the best way that you can build your email list on Instagram. You can use things such as comment automation or or DM automation in order to grow your email list and get emails from your contacts. So let me show you how to do that right now. But before I get started, don't forget to sign up for Minichat for free down below and go step by step with me as I help you build your email list. Awesome. Now that we're inside Minichat, I'm going to show you how to integrate your email provider. And then I'm going to show you how to set up an automation that will automatically drive emails from your Instagram directly into your email provider. Uh, I've just signed up for a MailChimp account. So this is an awesome account with absolutely zero emails in it. I'm going to show you how to use Minichat first to integrate. And then I'm going to show you how you can build an automation yourself. This is the Minichat home tab right here. Let's go to settings. And then I'm gonna go down to the bottom left where it says integration. Make sure you have the right account permissions. And if you don't, have the admin of your account give you admin access. As you can see, I've already integrated Google Sheets. Google Sheets is also a really good option for just generating a bunch of emails. That way you have it on a basically a spreadsheet and you can import it into any different platform you want. That's an extra step though. We want to do this automatically. Here's a list of all our current integrations. It might be different if you're watching this video way later, way into the future. But right now, um, I'm gonna choose MailChimp because I just signed up for a free account. So let's see how this goes and log in. Awesome. I'm going to select allow, allow on the mini chat side. Amazing. I'm going to select email field down here and then perfect. It's as easy as that. Now I'm fully integrated between mini chat and MailChimp. Now I'm going to show you how to do an automation that automatically adds emails to my MailChimp account. It's going to be super simple. I'm going to go to the automation section and I'm going to click new automation. For this one, let's just start from scratch. Awesome. So let's say I make a post that says comment guide below and I'll send you my free guide. So I post that piece of content. I can do next post or reel. I can do all post or reels that this applies to every single one of my posts, or I can just choose a specific one. I'll choose this one I made about Medusa. Select that one, select guide. So comments include these keywords. We'll put guide in there. And then if I want to exclude these keywords, I can fill that out, but I'm all good. I can also do any comment, but I don't want to do that. I only want people to receive a message if they comment the word guide, then reply with these random ones, sure. So I'm gonna add a bunch of different replies. These are public replies that we'll post as an auto response to the comment. We recommend always adding as many variations as possible. This helps protect your account and voila. Okay, now this trigger is active and safe. Now um, I'm gonna say, hey there, thanks for your comment. Are you still interested in the guide? And then I'm gonna push this button and the button's gonna be, yes, I am. Awesome. And then what we're gonna do, once the person clicks this button, we're gonna go to the next step. For this step, I'm gonna do condition, and then we're gonna say if contact's email is known or not, right? So all I did was click here, select condition. Does a content contact match all the following conditions? I'm gonna click that button. And then one of the recommended ones right here, because we assume that email is a very popular use case for you, we have email as a recommended option right here. You can also see if a tag is applied or if they follow your account or not. This one, we're just gonna do email. And then if email is unknown, I'm gonna send them this message. Awesome. We'd love to send you the guide. Can you type in your email below? So now this is a data collection column and this is waiting on a response from the contact. It says contacts reply right here. I'm gonna select this and then I'm gonna go to email and then save email to system field, set email opt-in. So these are both things we wanna do. We'll leave these on. We're gonna wait for someone to reply with their email. You can also choose to follow up after a certain amount of time if the contact has not responded. And then if the message they enter is incorrect, let's say they enter uh, an email field with .co or if they don't put the at sign, they just put the beginning of their email. This is the message that you'll send in order to respond. Sweet. So we're waiting for a response from the email. 
and then action on reply, this is where the magic happens. So I uh, select this, pull it forward, create a new action, click on this action button, and then you'll see MailChimp because we integrated it earlier. We'll see MailChimp right here and we'll say add contact to list. Email field, email list name. So for now, I'm just gonna use David Andriati Media. And then if they don't respond, this is a follow-up message that I'll send. Hey, still there? Yes, I am. I am going to duplicate that. And just when they click yes, I am, I'll send it. Awesome, move this into the guy. You type your email below. And then same thing, action on reply. And contact to list. David Andriotti Media. Awesome. Okay, then once they reply, they'll be added to the list. Amazing. Check your email to see the guide we sent you. I'll add a delay right here. And then I'll also add text to say, also, we can send it here as well. And then I can go and add a link to the guide if I have a web link. So let's say I have a Google Drive. I'll just say drive.google.com for an example. Click here for guide. So this is how you make an automation. You know, it probably took me less than five minutes. And then right now it's gonna be user comments on this post. We send them this message. They click this button. We see if they know their email. And if the email is unknown, we're just gonna send them the guide directly. Because we already have their email. I'm assuming we're sending the guide in the email already. We already have their email. So we'll just go ahead and send them directly to the guide. We need to make sure that change the copy here as well. Great, here's the guide. Awesome. Now the last thing we need to do is set it live. So now every time somebody comments guide, they're gonna be sent these automated messages, which will automatically add their email to this list. And then I can go in on the MailChimp side to make sure that when someone's added to a list, send them this email that will send them the guide or add them to this drip list where their first email, they're getting a guide. And then three days later, they're getting another email to you or you're just adding them to your newsletter, something like that. So you have their email. Now you own this audience. You don't need to rely on Instagram anymore. So this is going to be the best way to get conversions from your followers and turn them into email subscribers. So I really hope this was helpful and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials just like this. Thanks.